<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we continue our Agritechnica 2023 coverage and we now find ourselves on the vitamin stand. And like many manufacturers, they are exploring the possibilities of electrification on their loaders, particularly on the smaller ranges where it seems to fit quite appropriately. I'm now joined by uh, Maurice Voyer, who is going to talk us through some of these machines. So, Maurice, you've got three machines here, all yes. electrified, yes. all running on battery power. So, talk us through them. I mean, where do you want to start? So, let's start with the smallest one, the 1190E. Um, now, the third generation of our electric hove track okay. already. So I was going to say, because you guys have been doing it quite a while now, you're yes, one of the first almost. Yes, back in 2015 we start with the first generation and uh, last year we introduced the 1190E with lithium ion battery technique in the third generation. And what sort of power can you get out of the battery in this? So we have here a 48 voltage system and uh, three different um, capacities of, uh, of the battery. With the uh, largest battery we can um, go up to seven and a half hours of working constantly. Okay, yeah, so, so can do quite, quite, a, quite a shift. Very, no, okay. it's, it's continuous work, so yeah. seven and a half hours, full work. This so is full work, this full is flat work. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it. you're, it's... it's uh, and what would charging time be on that then, on the high capacity battery? Um, depending, so we have the option for two chargers and we can charge with the normal standard um, power from, from the from the So box. like a, a domestic supply? Yeah, or we can charge with a 4 volt 16 amps or two, type 2 wall box charger. Uh, it's all possible and uh, yeah, that depending on, on the charging times. So with the high capacity uh, sort of charging option, what sort of charging time would you get then? So full charge, 4 to 10 hours depending on uh, what cable and what charger are you using? Okay. Yeah, on the and, biggest battery. Yeah, on the biggest yeah. battery, and that's to 100% charge. Yes, from, from zero to yeah. 100. So you could do a partial charge, could you, like to yes. 80%, and awesome. how long would that kind of take? Um, so it's, it's easy done when you start in the morning and then drive one or two hours, charge it in the, the lunchtime, yeah. and extend the, the range uh, for the whole afternoon it's uh, no possible, uh, no, no problem. Does it have one electric motor in this or two? Two, two, two motors, motors, one for the drivetrain, one for the hydraulic pump. Right, and the, the drivetrain, that is connected directly to the directly, drivetrain. Yeah. Right, and then these are connected via prop shaft. Yes, right. right. Cool stuff. And then you say there's one for the hydraulics, is there? Yes, one right. for the hydraulics, uh, controlled by the joystick and uh, yeah, providing only hydraulics for the cylinders for the boom and for the third control function uh, for, the, for the attachments. Okay, so when you use the, uh, the joystick for the hydraulics, does it kind of effectively automatically rev up, so to speak? It depends how do you operate the joystick. So uh, how hard you... How hard you, you pull the joystick, uh, the more hydraulic output you get. Yeah. So yeah. you've in effectively got real good independent control yes. between the it's, hydraulics yeah. and the transmission effect of yeah. it. And what is the lift capacity on this uh, this little beauty? Um, yeah, depending on, on what options. So we have the option from, from a normal canopy, here the EPS, the foldable canopy, and the full cabin. Uh, so depending on that and what loading type, we are talking about uh, tipping load uh, on the pellet forks, uh, 1.2 tons, but. Okay, yeah. is that a turned tipping load? Turned tipping load, Oh, right, yeah. 1.2 ton on this. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty decent, isn't it? Right, yeah. shall we move on to this one? Yes. So this is this is a bigger half track, our 3090E, um, fresh from from production. So um, yeah, we're starting with this machine. More or less same technique, 96 voltage system inside. Yeah. Uh, but the rest is is pretty um, pretty come to to the smaller one. Yeah. Uh, so we have a battery management system on the battery pack itself to taking care of the health of the battery to, to provide long life of okay. the battery pack. So it got every machine got this battery yeah. management system. Uh, charging uh, ports are the same. So we have here um, in the back the possibility to go with the type 2 plug okay, inside. Yeah. And uh, then 
the option of, of different charging cables. So we have here uh, about 2.7 to 3 ton operating weight um, and then one and a half or at least one and a half and up to let's say nearly two tons All right. uh, of lifting capacity right. depending on, on yeah. options. So we have here a wide range, different tires, also um, canopy, foldable roof and like here a full glass cabin um, with, with a panoramic rear window and great large uh, glass surfaces for perfect visibility. Excellent. And can you add ballast to this? On yes. Okay, so yeah. that will increase so, your yeah. lift capacity. Yeah. As an option, we have our ECS system, so a Weidemann headstock, um, where we connect, can connect the third function automatically without, without going uh, up from the machine. So, so you don't have to get out the car? No. Nope. It just connects the third service? Yeah, by well, himself. I when, like, when you lock I like the, that. I yeah, love that. <laughs> you, you lock the attachment and automatically uh, connect the third control function. Uh, and of course, um, the, the, let's say, common headstocks like the Yoro uh, coupler, okay, for example, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, available. Yep. Excellent. Right. Should we move on to the, to the final yes, machine? Yes, to so the final machine. On to the little telehandler. And on these, these two machines that we've just seen, can you actually get uh, telescopic booms on these? No. Nope, it's just, just rigid booms. Just rigid booms, uh, but different sizes. Here for 1190E, we have a standard one and a large one yep. to increase lifting height and on the 3090E we have in some three uh, different loading systems um, three meter pin height 3.2 meter pin height um, both for the peak kinematic and like you see here 3.2 meter with a PSAT kinematic right so very strong loading system I see cool right so yes on to the on to the little telehandler what can you tell us about this one yeah so um, the electric components are absolutely the same uh, like on the 3090e yeah so we're using using the same um, the same components here in the in the in our most popular telehandler t4512 this four, is this is it right four and a half meter lifting height 1.2 tons uh, lifting capacity up to the full height of four and a half meter right so a very compact small machine with a big punch Yes, definitely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we have here um, two battery options, 18 and 28 kilowatt hours uh, of capacity, uh, going to three and a half to 5.2 hours right. of operating time. Okay. Continuously. Yeah, that's out. full flat yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Good yes. stuff. And like I say, the actual components in this, it's pretty much shared across yep. all three machines. Yep. It's quite common. Yeah, we, we are using, using let's say, um, more or less same, um, same components. Difference here on the small um, half track, we have the 48 volt voltage system on the 3090, and here on the T4512E, we have the 96 volt right. system. Just that extra yeah. capacity. Cool. And can you tell us a little bit about the cab? Yeah. Well, of course. We go, go inside. Shall we slip in? Yes. I'm going in. Ah! Look at that, like a gazelle. Graceful. Gazella in German. <laughs> cool. So yeah, talk us through what we've got going on yeah. in here. So we have a um, very nice cabin. We have the um, adjustable steering column. You can press this one to adjust the angle. And with the center, you can adjust the height of it. There we go. Yeah. You have a very nice view around. Uh, and especially with the flat bonnet, you can have a perfect view to the front wheel and also to the rear. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, the That's visibility. You can, you can see all four corners, can't everything. you? Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Perfect visibility yeah. on this compact small machine. Uh, with the joystick, everything, uh, all controls are on the joystick. So um, drive direction, telescoping in and out, third function, everything what you need on on your hand on the joystick we have here also steering type adjustment with front wheel uh, crab steer and all wheel steer yeah as an option and uh, a display where you can find every information that you need cool and is there when you when you are driving is there two ranges on this or is it a single range machine uh, you have you have two different um, ranges yeah yeah and uh, standard one uh, driving speed 
15 kilometers an hour yeah. as an option 20 or 25 kilowatt, uh, kilometers per hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. And then the, these little toggles down here, are these sort of... It's for, for uh, controlling the machine when you want to use a hydraulic driven attachment. Or like a dispenser bucket or yeah, a, or a yeah. sweeper or something You can, you can set like that. Yeah. The, the speed and the hydraulic volume for the attachment with these both. Yeah. And then can you, you can concentrate fully on what is around your machine and uh, don't need to take care to operate properly <laughs> the, the attachment. So it makes life easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, Maurice, thank you very much for your time. I'm going to say goodbye now before I get out. I'm going to get out off camera because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm that graceful. So, Maurice, once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.